And now at noon, a summer sizzler all across the state. It's another hot day, but will our heat wave continue? Good afternoon. I'm Kara Sundland. Meteorologist Mark Dixon is here. And Mark, we're not only keeping an eye on these unseasonably warm temperatures, but there's also a threat for storms today. That is indeed the case. And of course, first and foremost, with regard to our heat wave, we need to hit 90 degrees. We've yet to do so here at the 12 o'clock hour. Bradley International Airport up to 87, 88 in the Brader Airport, 83 for New Haven, 82 currently in Groton and low 80s as well throughout uh, the Litchfield Hills. So we've seen some cloud cover move in, so it may be a close call with regard to reaching that 90 degree mark. If we're able to do so, our fourth heat wave of the year will go into day number six, of course, after hitting 92 yesterday. And you can see here we have a southerly component to the wind, uh, southwesterly that is, around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So uh, we've got dew point values. They're not horrible, not in the 70s, but in the mid to upper 60s in many locations. So at least it's fairly tolerable humidity. There's our ICANN view from Hartford showing the cloud cover that may prevent temperatures from reaching or exceeding 90. There's a similar situation coming in uh, from New Haven and as well from our ICANN view in New London. So probably not the best beach day, uh, but uh, at least as we head through the afternoon, it should be primarily primarily dry at area beaches. There's a chance for an isolated shower storm as a weak boundary from the north pushes southwards. You're going to be watching for showers to continue to develop maybe some isolated thunderstorms. Some of those could work into Connecticut. So you can see across the region, uh, we've got those dew point values in the 60s and 70s. So future cast as we head toward 4 or 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, you can see how those isolated storms develop across southern New England, back across the lower Hudson Valley of New York. Uh, again, that boundary pushes southward then stalls offshore tomorrow. So a little wave of energy is going to ride along that boundary that could bring early tomorrow morning some scattered showers throughout coastal and southern Connecticut uh, and then during the afternoon perhaps a little clearing as we uh, close out the week and the month of July. Uh, looking at the big picture here with regard to the tropics we're tracking tropical storm Isaias. Uh, it is moving right now toward the west northwest sustained winds are at 60 miles an hour and it's going to be making its way to the north of Haiti and the Dominican Republic as we head toward this upcoming weekend nearing the east coast of Florida. Then notice as we head toward early next week Monday night into Tuesday morning, perhaps taking a track close to southern New England. Uh, regardless of what form it takes, some of the moisture from Isaias may uh, interact with the stalled frontal boundary, bringing some wet weather to the state uh, Monday to Tuesday of next week. So here's a look at our early warning seven-day forecast. Again, some showers linger into tomorrow with the clouds. Tomorrow, temperatures likely held into the mid-80s, ending our heat wave if it even makes it past today. Uh, and then on sat Saturday, uh, partly to mostly sunny, close to 90. Bit of an uptick in humidity over the second half of the weekend with a chance for some isolated thunderstorms during our Sunday and then trending a bit unsettled Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. Tuesday, again, some of that moisture can be associated with whatever is left of Isaias. Uh, for uh, coastal communities this weekend, looking good for area beach time on Saturday, 87, a little bit more in the way of some cloud cover on Sunday. Highs again in the mid 80s.